Hi everyone. As you all remember, um, I did a video about how to install OpenWRT in a Meraki MR12. And uh, since this is a Atheris device, and uh, at some point the the firmware um, was available also at the Gargoyle project, which is uh, based on OpenWRT. Uh, uh, for some reason, I don't know why, it stopped being uh, available here. Uh, so I asked someone from the from the project if um, they could build uh, a firmware, uh, a gargoyle firmware that is, uh, for the MR12. This was in 2016, and they did he did uh, one release, um, not an official release, of course. And he shared it with me. I did some testing and I shared with him the problems I found, but since there was not uh, much, uh, many people looking into this, um, we didn't continue that. So a few days ago I sent him another message and asked him if he could do a build based on the latest version of uh, Gargoyle, which usually is also based on the latest, latest version of uh, OpenWRT. So, he shared another another firmware based on the latest version. This is the the Gargoyles uh, homepage. If you don't know this uh, this um, this project, it's uh, the interface. It's more intuitive. We're going to look into it in a few moments. It's more intuitive than OpenWRT. So, out of the box, you don't have to know much about networking in order to configure a your router or access point. So he shared with me the, um, the the firmware. There's actually the firmware from 2016 and uh, 2018. This was in February. So he shared to me the the firmwares. What I have here, we have three files. Uh, my Meraki already is already running the 2016 version. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to flash it with the latest one, which is this one. Since I already have it installed, I'm going to install the sysupgrade.bin. So let's go to system. Oh, it just went out. Let's get into system. Update firmware. Let's just choose number 12. Just check this is the name. Yeah, system upgrade. This is a 14 megabyte file. And we're going to see here. I like to see what's happening on when I'm flashing these devices. Let's choose update now. Give me a warning. OK. I'm going to show you here what is going on. As you can see here, this network just sent a bunch of information. That's it. Okay, here we have it. Default password for this, the first time you got you got into the, the firmware is password lower caps He's going to ask you for a, for a new password. I'm uh, just going to put a simple password here. That's about it. And save settings. This is actually the first time. No. Oh. There you have it. Let's see status, what we have here. So we have our Meraki running 1.10x build of Gargoyle uh, MR12 memory we have 12 megabytes used out of 60 this device has 60 megabytes uh, CPU this is actually a 400 megahertz CPU this is the default status page just gonna give you a quick look around out of this firmware some of you may not know it 
here we have some graphics but remember this firmware is not uh, for this uh, for this device is not developed uh, by any means uh, there's you're gonna find some bugs okay this is like a test firmware things will be working I've tested the the other version was working very well some things or some wireless modes weren't working hundred percent because you can make you can have uh, you can have uh, all of uh, selective uh, modes like bridge uh, or repeater you can have that option here so it's quite easy to set up just gonna give you a quick quick look at the um, at the menus the look of this is much much nicer now I'm looking at this actually the first time I'm looking at this version um, DHCP if you want to enable it dynamic DNS routing it's very nice, wake on LAN it's very good, firewall I remember this had QoS, yes it's still here connection limits, you can limits, restrictions there's a lot of information on this firmware yes, for upload you can set uh, upload um, restrictions with this QoS because you're gonna have the um, the connection. You can limit the connections here. This is the system. Change passwords. The, the access to it. SSH. Usually. Okay. Identification. That's just the name of it. Time. And usually they have something called plugins. And what are plugins? Plugins are like small pieces of software that you, that you can add to the firmware to have another another feature. I know there's there's plugins for scheduling your Wi-Fi. For example, you don't want to have Wi-Fi enabled during during the night because you're not using it. You can do, you can set you can download um, a plugin and set it to disable at night backup and restore, this is configuration update firmware, we already did done that ordinary reboot you can also schedule a reboot every day, every week, every month and this is about these are all the important guys that developed this all the people this is just a small small amount of people that are developed developing this. There's a, a big community using this and testing and giving feedback to see what's working, what's not working, which devices are stable, not stable. There's a lot of things going on. And the main the main um, feature that makes this different from OpenWRT I believe it's this web page which you can have this working as a gateway remember this uh, Meraki only has two ports I don't know if, if the both ports are enabled on the other uh, firmware uh, only one port is enabled so I have to check this one later and you can have this bridge slash repeater this bridge slash repeater is like you can use it as a client access point so you can connect to another access point through this if you want to use the gateway you can have a gateway I'm going to enable the access point here and in this mode you have access point with WS and ad hoc imagine you have a gate uh, you want to use this as a gateway so it's normal you plug your your modem internet modem to the um, to the gateway to the uh, to this access point and uh, you have your internet through Wi-Fi it's very simple but if you have this bridge repeater other than that even in gateway I'm going to show you something here connect via you have this option usually you have your uh, your access point connected to another one to the modem by a cable but you can have that 
wirelessly. So what you can do, imagine you can have your another router that is that has internet and you connect this one as a gateway and you can have a completely different LAN setting like a separate LAN and this is connecting to your main router and it's like in another section of, uh, of your network which is quite amazing because you don't have to connect this by wire you can do this by by wireless so it will cre create a virtual interface it will it will be your one and you're gonna have your LAN which will be bridged with your wireless this is just the modes PDN you can have the 40 megahertz full bandwidth Mac filter as you can see the default name comes with OpenWRT because this is based in OpenWRT encryption the types of encryption you have here quite in isolation you can create a guest network I'm just going to show you this this will create another virtual uh, interface wireless virtual interface so if you connect I don't know if it, this is working because I haven't tested it if you connect if your one will be wirelessly you're gonna have one and you have client in uh, guest net, uh, pardon, guest network uh, enable. You're gonna have two virtual interfaces besides besides your SSID. This is the SSID to join for the for the one side. This is the LAN side. If you use this as a gateway, if you go to bridge repeater, repeater mode is find the uh, SSID join it, set the encryption, the password, and it's done. If you do disable, this is just a, a normal, if, if the repeater is disabled, this, is, this works as a client. It's like your USB wireless interface. It will connect to another access point. Simple as that. And as you can see, it's, it's very easy to set up you don't have many weird configurations, you don't have to set any routings, any firewall to out of the box, this just select a menu and this will be working. Of course, you have to test this because this is a, a underdeveloped uh, firmware, so it's not, I won't war guarantee that this is working 100%. So, I hope you enjoyed it. So, give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you like these videos I've been sharing with you and uh, see you next time